life in the UK practice test. Question 1 of 24. Which flower is associated with Northern Ireland? A. The daffodil. B. The thistle. C. The shamrock. D. The rose. The correct answer is C. The shamrock. The flower associated with Northern Ireland is the shamrock. Life in the UK practice test. Question 2 of 24. The last battle between Britain and France was the Battle of Waterloo. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Life in the UK practice test. Question 3 of 24. 100 pounds is the highest value note in circulation in the UK. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Life in the UK practice test. Question 4 of 24. Where is the Lake District National Park located? A. Scotland. B. Wales. C. England. D. Northern Ireland. The correct answer is C. England. Lake District is in England. Life in the UK practice test. Question 5 of 24. Which two responsibilities will you have as a British citizen? A. To buy food locally. B. To volunteer in a community project at least once a year. C. To look after yourself and your family. D. To respect the rights of others, including their right to their own opinions. The correct answers are C. To look after yourself and your family. D. To respect the rights of others, including their right to their own opinions. If you wish to be a permanent resident or citizen of the UK, you should respect and obey the law. Look after yourself and your family, respect the rights of others, including their right to their own opinions. Treat others with fairness and look after the area in which you live and the environment. Life in the UK practice test. Question 6 of 24. Who was born in Stratford-upon-Avon? A. Jane Austen. B. Charles Dickens. C. William Shakespeare. D. Thomas Hardy. The correct answer is C. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. Life in the UK practice test. Question 7 of 24. Why is 1928 an important year in women's voting history? A. Women were given the right to vote at the age of 18, the same as men. B. Women were given the right to vote at the age of 25. C. Women were given the right to vote at the age of 30. D. Women were given the right to vote at the age of 21, the same as men. The correct answer is D. Women were given the right to vote at the age of 21, the same as men. Life in the UK practice test. Question 8 of 24. What does Hogmanay refer to? A. Christmas Day in Wales. B. New Year's Eve in Scotland. C. Christmas Day in Scotland. D. New Year's Eve in Wales. The correct answer is B. New Year's Eve in Scotland. In Scotland. The 31st of December, New Year's Eve, is called Hogmanay. Life in the UK practice test. Question 9 of 24. What is the capital city of Northern Ireland? A. Cork. B. Edinburgh. C. Belfast. D. Dublin. The correct answer is C. Belfast. The capital city of Northern Ireland is Belfast. Life in the UK practice test. Question 10 of 24. Which of the following wars took place between 1899 and 1902 in South Africa? A. The Hundred Years War. B. The Boer War. C. The First World War. D. The Crimean War. The correct answer is B. The Boer War. Life in the UK practice test. Question 11 of 24. Northern Ireland uses a system called individual registration, and all those entitled to vote must complete their own registration form. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is 
A. True. Life in the UK practice test. Question 12 of 24. Which two of the following policies are not controlled by the devolved administrations? A. Health. B. Education. C. Defense. D. Immigration. The correct answers are C. Defense. D. Immigration. Policy and laws governing defense, foreign affairs, immigration, taxation and social security all remain under central UK government control. However, many other public services, such as education, are controlled by the devolved administrations. Life in the UK practice test. Question 13 of 24. How old do citizens of the UK? The Irish Republic or the Commonwealth have to be to stand for public office. A. 18. B. 21. C. 16. D. 25. The correct answer is A. 18. Most citizens of the UK. The Irish Republic or the Commonwealth aged 18 or over can stand for public office. There are some exceptions, including members of the armed forces civil servants and people found guilty of certain criminal offences. Life in the UK practice test. Question 14 of 24. How did the government promote policies of free trade during the Victorian age? A. Abolishing a number of taxes on imported goods. B. Abolishing the exportation of local produce. C. Preventing the importation of cheap raw materials. D. Preventing the importation of cheap grain. The correct answer is A. A. Abolishing a number of taxes on imported goods. During Victorian times, the government began to promote policies of free trade, abolishing a number of taxes on imported goods. One example of this was the repealing of the Corn Laws in 1846. These had prevented the import of cheap grain. The reforms helped the development of the British industry, because raw materials could now be imported cheaply. Life in the UK practice test. Question 15 of 24. Who was Admiral Nelson? A. One of the tribal leaders who fought against the Romans. B. A British officer in charge of the British Army at the Battle of Waterloo. C. A British general who established the authority of the English Parliament. D. A British officer in charge of the British fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar against the Spanish fleet. The correct answer is D. A British officer in charge of the British fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar against the Spanish fleet. Admiral Nelson was in charge of the British fleet at the Battle of Trafalgar against the Spanish and was killed in the battle. Life in the UK practice test. Question 16 of 24. During the Middle Ages, who were the serfs? A. Peasants who had a small area of their lord's agricultural land. B. Soldiers who fought at the Battle of Trafalgar. C. Noblemen who formed part of the King's Council of Advisers. D. A group of skilled people from Holland who came to England during the Middle Ages. The correct answer is A. Peasants who had a small area of their lord's agricultural land. Serfs were peasants who had a small area of their lord's land where they could grow food. Life in the UK practice test. Question 17 of 24. Which invention led to the rapid development of the industry in Britain during the 18th and 19th centuries? A. The radar. B. The steam power. C. The jet engine. D. The Turing machine. The correct answer is B. The steam power. The Industrial Revolution was the rapid development of industry in Britain in the 18th and 19th centuries. Britain was the first country to industrialize on a large scale. It happened because of the development of machinery and the use of steam power. Life in the UK practice test. Question 18 of 24. In 1776, which British colonies declared their independence because they demanded that there should be no 
taxation without representation. A. North African. B. Asian. C. North American. D. South African. The correct answer is C. North American. In 1776, 13 American colonies declared their independence, stating that people had a right to establish their own governments. Life in the UK practice test. Question 19 of 24. When was England ruled by a republic and not by a monarch? A. When Elizabeth I died without any successor. B. When Charles I was executed. C. When the Carter Magna restricted the king's power. D. When kind Harold died after the Battle of Hastings. The correct answer is B. When Charles I was executed. When Charles I was executed, England declared itself a republic. Called the Commonwealth. It no longer had a monarch. Life in the UK practice test. Question 20 of 24. Which film produced in the UK was one of the most commercially successful films of all time and one of the highest grossing film franchises? A. Harry Potter B. Spider-Man C. The Lord of the Rings D. Indiana Jones The correct answer is A. Harry Potter Some of the most commercially successful films of all time including the two highest-grossing film franchises, Harry Potter and James Bond, have been produced in the UK. Life in the UK practice test. Question 21 of 24. When did the first farmers come to Britain? A. 10,000 years ago. B. 6,000 years ago. C. 15,000 years ago. D. 2,000 years ago. The correct answer is B. 6,000 years ago. The first farmers arrived in Britain 6,000 years ago. Life in the UK practice test. Question 22 of 24. When did the First World War end? A. At 12 p.m. on the 11th of November 1914. B. At 12 p.m. on the 11th of November 1918. C. At 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1914, D. At 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1918, the correct answer is D. At 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1918, the First World War ended at 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1918 with victory for Britain and its allies. Life in the UK practice test. Question 23 of 24. Can court orders be obtained to protect a person from being forced into a marriage? A. Yes. B. No. The correct answer is A. Yes. Court orders can be obtained to protect a person from being forced into a marriage or to protect a person in a forced marriage. Life in the UK practice test. Question 24 of 24. What medal did Mary Peters win in the 1972 Olympics? A. She did not win any medals. B. Silver. C. Gold. D. Bronze. The correct answer is C. Gold. Born in Manchester, Mary Peters moved to Northern Ireland as a child. She was a talented athlete who won an Olympic gold medal in the pentathlon in 1972.